All right, so I'm gonna do a quick rundown of how you would make a hobo pie. Well, first of all, you need a hobo pie maker, which I've pre-warmed, um, which I recommend doing, you know, while you're prepping your ingredients. That way it doesn't take quite as long when you're ready to actually cook it. So you just get some nice hot coals going, maybe on top of your fire. For instance, uh, just to make lunch easier and a little bit faster, you just took a couple dirt flame logs, heated them up, you know, started them on fire, and then got some of those instant briquettes on top of there, you know, that are already soaked in lire fluid and are easier to start. So uh, I've got my iron cast iron pan sitting right here. So I've got this to just chill there. Then I've got my bread laid out. So what you're gonna wanna do, you don't necessarily have to, it's rec I recommend you do use butter or some sort of cooking spray just to make it easier to pull off of the, um, when you want your sandwich, you know, you just open it, you know, so. Get your bread out pan. Uh, you're gonna want some form, form of butter. I got this Smart Balance because it's easy to spread and it's got extra all, excuse me, it's got all the oil in it. You know, it's a little bit healthier, for instance. I mean, just look. Um, and because I was thinking, well, you know, I'm gonna be cooking my steak and stuff later. I kind of want that olive oil, you know, in there. So, anyways, so yep. Yeah, so I'm just gonna spread the butter on there. You know. You could even do this if you wanted to smash that together so i mean well that didn't work so well but you know i had an idea there for a second oh shit so yeah spread your butter on there try to make this as quick as possible keep this video short You know, it's like in uh, Super Troopers. Spread it on! <laughs> you know, he, and then he shuts a shotgun. And then they snap the picture, you know. Spread it on. Guys, uh, I can't remember who it was in high school. In digital filmmaking class, he used it as like their uh, opening logo thing. That was funny. Spread it on. Yeah, when I worked at Arclight, they had the sequel uh, premiere there. You know, Super Troopers 2 uh, with the, the whole... Now the police and all, all that and what have you. That was funny. That's when I met Michael Keenan Key. You know, came up to me while I was working the box office. So, okay, so you get off track here. So anyways, you know, as you can see, got everything buttered up. Baby, I'm going to butter your bread. <laughs> okay, flip them over. So you can pretty much choose any, whatever you want to put in there is up to you. But what I decided to do today was roast beef and uh some crispy crispy bacon you know that cast iron pan and it will cook things fast so just start building your sandwiches however you choose one of my oh man peanut butter and jelly in one of these things is amazing trust me i would highly recommend that or peanut butter and nutella it's kind of like a dirt dessert uh kind of sandwich you know um and you don't have to be super technical about how you throw things in there because eventually it's just going to be sealed up anyways. You'll see what I mean when I'm finished with the hobo pie. Um, yeah, do I want to do it like that? Yeah, and then the cheese will be encased in the middle. Okay, yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting the meat on both sides so that way the cheese is encased into the middle. So that should be pretty tasty. I think I'll just yeah, do a couple, a couple pieces on each side. Yeah, man. So I've just been chilling. I've been listening to Blessed, the Blessed Union of Souls, that you know, that band from mid '90s or whatever. Did like Hey Leonardo and I believe that song has been absolutely my jam lately. I believe you know because I think it's it's relevant to our current times right now in 2020. How things are going, you know. We really need love on this planet and positivity, you know. So either way, so. Get my bacon here, which is real crispy. It's almost like burnt practically, but I kind of wanted it that way. You know, just crumble it. That way it'll kind of integrate into the cheese when it melts. It'll be like, trust me, it's meatbomb.com. So it's kind of crunching that up over here. Oh man, I'm already, I'm pretty hungry. I'm already kind of excited for this. <laughs> All right, so I got a little bit extra there. Might as well just use all of it, right? So, got the bacon here. Crunch it. 
Shred it all over. Now, let's double up on the cheese. Might as well, right? Make these nice and cheesy. And sometimes you know what they say. It ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> Case in point, right? <laughs> okay. So, I guess for this, it doesn't matter what side I put it on. So, I'll get rid of that. Normally I'd go for Tillamook, but the crafts was a little bit cheaper. So, and this is a um, sharp cheddar, I believe. Yeah, sharp cheddar. I think that will go nice with this combination I have. All right, so now what you're gonna want to do is, yeah, your hands are gonna get a little, a little bit greasy and buttery. That's fine. And then maybe I'll use that wax paper to press down. All right, so use that wax paper to press down. Grab a paper towel. Get my hands all good to go. All right, so I'm using the cast iron pan as like my platform in a way. So I'm gonna open up the hobo pie maker. I'm gonna get this in kind of view here. And then take my completed sandwich. And yeah, it separated a little bit like that. That's okay. Put that in there. And then, ow, oh, shit, hopefully you can see. I'm closing it up, smashing it down. Set this down. All right, hold on. Kind of screwed up there for a second. All right. So as you can see, it's all enclosed. Don't worry about the excess. You can cut that off. It's probably gonna burn, but it's not a big deal. Um, and then let me pick up my camera here. All right. So I'm walking over to the fireplace. Show you what's up. All right. So as you see. My coals are nice, white, hot. You know, it's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is just set it down right there, right on top. And then, eh, you know, give it about two minutes. I should probably make it set a timer. So right, give me one second. I'll probably stop the camera here for now and then I'll hit you back in there in a second, all right? All right, so, so I smell burning and that's the outside of it and that's fine. So it's been on that side for a minute. Check it out. I might have burned it, and that's okay. Uh, too too soon. That's all right. Let's just flip it over, put it back down there, see what's up. All right, so we're back. As you can see, this has all been burnt. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold on. My thing, my jiggy popped up. All right, so what I'm going to do is just, just kind of use the back of the knife and more or less cut off that excess hoopla, you know, scrape it off. All right. Yeah, so this hobo pie maker itself has probably been in my family for a little over, I don't know, 25 years or so. 95 or 96, I want to say, is when we first started going down the Oregon coast and doing a lot of family camping, which I highly recommend over any kind of activity um, when you have a young family, personally. Because who wants to go to Disneyland with young children and stand in all those lines? That's something you probably want to wait until, like, middle school or what have you. You know, which... Uh, my first time was, like, fifth grade. And my uncle Clint, rest his soul, God rest his soul, took me and my brother down there and with my grandma. And it was a lot of fun. A lot of funny stories from that, that trip. So, okay, so I scraped everything off. Let's use this guy. I'm going to try to pop it open. And, yeah, you might have to work it a little bit. So it looks like it's stuck in a couple places and that's okay. So find a space where it's not stuck, kind of, sort of. And this may not have worked all that well, but it's fine. I'll get another one I can do. Yeah, I see, I see what the problem is. Right, so, yeah, it's pretty stuck. Okay, this was not a successful one, but it gets the point across, I guess. Well, probably work at it get that other portion off yeah this was a fail that's okay so this was a fail <laughs> i'll have to clean it up and do another one that's fine yeah. oh wait no maybe i saved it i don't know 
That's, that's pretty fucked. Okay, yeah, that was a fail. But, I think I almost kind of saved it in a way. Yeah. So I'll flip that over. And then again, find a corner where it's a little bit loose. I think I got an idea on how to fix this. So um get back to you on the next one. But that is hobo pie failure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is not how it's supposed to look. So uh, I'm gonna readjust the maker itself, really get it nice and clean. I'm gonna butter each side of the hobo pie maker itself to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So all right, come back at you, come back at you. In a all right, so what I'm doing now is just kind of getting rid of what was left over from the last one, which was not a success. Well, kind of not what I was trying to go for. I'm trying to scrape off a little bit other jazz. You know, keep it nice and clean. Somewhat. If there's anything left over, just add some flavor. That's cool. All right, so get rid of that paper towel. Give me one second. And then just kind of treat it like Crisco and do this so now the hobo pie makers had time to cool off a little bit so i'm not concerned about burning anything or any and what have you and so just taking a dip of butter butter <laughs> you know scraping that all around in there this is what i should have done in the first place but it's okay get that in there Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Yada yada. <laughs> All right. That's pretty good, I think. Maybe get a fresh towel. Just for extra measure. You know, you never know. Spread a, spread a little bit more on there. <laughs> It's all real nice and greased. That's pretty greasy. That's what I'm going for. All right. So I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. So what we'll do is take the other sandwich. And I'm not, I figured out on the other one, the bread got kind of damaged when I tried to press it down before putting it into the hobo pie maker. So just let the tool do the work for you. So, you know, close it up. Boom. All right, I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot better. All right, so there we go. Again, don't worry about that excess hanging out. You're gonna cut that off anyway. So uh, put this on the fireplace and see what happens. All right, I'll be back to you in a moment. All right, it's been about a minute or so. So I thought I should check it out and see how it looks. Let's take this out. One second, I'll have to pause the camera. But as you can see, the excess is like burning off and that's okay, you want that, it's fine. So give me one second. And I'll bring it over to the table. See All right, so let's see. Oh, that, see, that's what you're looking for, okay? Since I greased the iron, it's nice and hot. So flip it over. I think it was just on that side, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, that's fine. You'll have to peel that off later. So record another clip in a second once it's complete. All right, so I'm back now. I did about two and a half minutes on each side. That might have been too much. I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. So again, I'm taking the back of the knife, scraping off that excess. It's all burnt and crispy because it was exposed completely to the fire. Let's see. Ow, shit. Careful now. All right. And then this guy. Doesn't help that cheese is all in too. pie maker uh, that always reminds me of um that uh episode the, excuse me the the simpsons episode where they get on the train with the hobo 
<laughs> and they, Homer's like, so are you the stabbing hobo or are you the uh, storytelling hobo? And he's like, oh no, I'm, I'm the storytelling hobo. <laughs> and then they go on to tell like all the classic American tall tales, you know, like, uh, what's his name? Baby Blue Ox and all that, you know, so Johnny Appleseed, but Simpson style, you know, so. So you don't want to just go full retard and, well, actually that might be okay. So open it up a little bit like I'm doing here. And then I'm using my knife to go along the edges, you know, not, more or less use your knife first, I think, to kind of expose where you can work. See that, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so you see how deep my knife is in right there? And I think I might just use my knife to gently gently move it around and expose you know use the back end of the knife that should be fine i think you know it's a little bit of work but it's worth it and you know especially when everything's well greased you know so i see the issue here so i need to come over here get some of that off of there you know use what you have to to get her free Okay, because I really would like to have a nice looking hobo pie right now. This one doesn't work out, it's okay. I'll probably do another one later. But okay, I'm gonna good there. Be patient. Be one. Be one with the hobo pie. There we go. I see. Yeah, I'm exposing. Just releasing because that that burnt portion wants to stick with the hobo pie, so you gotta kinda like just work your way around. And eventually it comes free. I know I greased this one pretty well. Maybe I should switch knives here for a second. Okay. So I got my little guy. You just got these cheapo knives at QSC before I left, you know. There we go. Okay. Sorry, it's taking a little longer than I anticipated. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. Yeah. Breaking it, breaking all that jazz for me. Almost feels kind of like cleaning a mold. Well, I mean, this is a mold after all, isn't it? So. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. I've almost got one side, folks, so hold on for a second. Just be gentle. Take your time. Yeah. It's like, uh, what am I thinking of Ace Ventura? Oh, yes, the man at the front door of the rubber glove is quite gentle. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when he first meets uh, Courtney Cox's character. <laughs> I trust you made it through security, which is fine, you know. <laughs> oh, yes, the man at the front door of the rubber glove is quite gentle. <laughs> oh, it's implying like he got a cavity check or something, a cavity search, you know. That's so funny. Great movie. Probably watched that a hundred times when I was like a kid. Didn't fully understand all of the uh, jokes and everything the way they're just kind of like Dumb and Dumber. You know, that was one of those movies I rediscovered like ten years later when I was older. <laughs> I'm just gonna believe it. I was laughing my ass off. All right, so all right, let's do that. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So you see, there's one side. Okay. Now I got to get the other side free. Generally speaking, you just hold it up like this. And then get in there, you know, get in and figure out which sides or what have you need to be addressed. Oh, there we go. All right, yeah. Okay, almost there, I think. Yeah, yeah, I need some. That. So I'm just kind of going like that, and there we go. Right. Don't get too rough with it. I mean, you want it to stay together, not separate. So, I'm gonna do that. So that's cool. Let's get in there. Get in. Try to get that. All right. All right. Almost there. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. No. Wait. Hold on. Shit. Sure. Very nice. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to do with it. You know. That's cool. One side's a little bit crispy than the other, but trust me, it still tastes really good. Because you can, honestly, you can cram so much stuff in between two pieces pieces of bread, you know, and it just turns into like this little hot, essentially it's like a hot pocket, pocket that's what it turns into. 
so good though. All right, so let me get my cutting board over here and I'll show you the final product. So, all right, so just kind of plop her down. Yes, okay, there we go. Mission accomplished, okay? Sometimes you gotta do a little research and development before you know the, you make a good final product and that's what I've done right now. So, I'll show you. Boom, you see? See how it's all like kind of like a pocket? Oh man, it's so amazing. And one of these Hobo Pie Makers, I'm not sure how much this one costs, but it's super cheap. And so if you're gonna go out and camp in and you just need something quick and easy, just a good, some bread, you know, peanut butter and jelly, uh, you know, ham and cheese. There's just so many different things you can do with this thing. And cause really when it comes down to it and you're going camping, you don't need a whole lot, you know, to really be self-sufficient. So, I mean, anyways, let's see, uh, let's see how it turned out. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth right now. Oh yeah. Look at that. Mmm. Oh man. So good. All right. So that's how you make a hobo pie. Highly recommend it when you go camping. Uh, I got my fresh guacamole and uh, some Juanitas to go with it. So stay tuned. I'll be making uh, surf and turf later. So until then, peace, love, rock and roll. Mad respect. God bless.